Welcome back to another video. This is code forces round 916 D3. We're gonna solve the second problem that is preparing for the contest. So Monocarp is like practicing for a big contest, our favorite friend. So he solves like n problems to make sure he is prepared. Okay. And uh, every problem has been ranked based on the difficulty level. So the level of difficulty is actually marked by from 1 to n. So 1 means least difficult, n means most difficult, like that. Now Monocarp does not uh, Monocarp can do whatever he wants. Monocarp will choose uh, some order uh, he can solve these problems. The only thing is whenever he solves a problem which is more difficult than the previous problem that he solved, he feels a bit excited. Okay, so he just feels that because he's progressing, he's learning so much and the sense of satisfaction might be there maybe. So that's why he doesn't get excited when he solves the first problem uh, in his chosen order. So yeah, for example, if Monocup solves the problems in the order of 3, 5, 4, 1, 6, 2, those are all difficulties, he gets excited twice. Why is he getting excited is, see, 3 is a lesser difficult problem, 5 is a more difficult problem. So the previous one uh, is, uh, bet 5 means better than the previous one, he have progressed it. So that's why he's happy here. 4, he's not happy because the level of difficulty is less. 1, he's again not happy, level of difficulty is less. But 6, I have solved one, but I'm able to solve six means it's a big achievement. You should not be confused with five less than six. It is one less than six here. So six is more difficult than one. So he's happy. So two times he got excited. So Monaka wants to get excited exactly K times during the practice session. And we have to give him an array to solve the problems so that he will get excited. So we uh, there are a lot of arrangements that can be possible. So we'll try to solve what is the way here. So here they told 6, 2, 3, 5, 4, 1, 6, 2. So that means what? This is 6, 2, 3, 5, 4, 1, 6, 2. So we should always go for a standard way only. Here they already gave in the question like two times he needs to excited. Here he gets excited. Here also he gets excited. But uh, if it's very screwed, we can't do it, right? It should always be a standard way. Now, I know that 6 represents 1 to 6 numbers. That very well I know. So what do I do? I need to excite, get excited 2 times. So I standardize it to at the last. So here I put 6 here. Here I put 5 here. How many times I got excited? I got excited uh, 1 time only. Then I'll put 4 here. So 2 times I got excited. Now, if I want, don't have to get excited, what should I do? I can put like 3, 2, 1. Okay, but what happens here is uh, in some cases, this is at the edge of the element, right? Four is like very close bound to that K value. So what do we do? How do we standardize this is we take two values from here and four values from here and reverse it. That means I know two values. Definitely it will increase here. This thing I know it should decrease. So how do I do? It is four, three, two, one. Instead of four, I can place one also. So by this way, it's very easier, right? two values, uh, k values two means last two values I'll keep, then the other one, I'll simply reverse those values. That's all, four, three, two, one. So how do we solve this? Of course, like there are many, many ways to solve it. You don't have to use vector and all, but it is more trivial. That's why I feel it like that. So what did I do? Till k values, I am just pushing back n minus i, n minus i, n minus zero means uh, last number that is six. Again, one more thing for k equal to 1 comes, k equal to 0 it happened, k equal to 1 what happens? I am appending 5 here. Now, I am appending 0 uh, to n minus k. Two, uh, k is already done, so till n minus k I will push it. So what happens here? i plus 1 means 1, 2, 3, 4. n minus k gets reached, so this is done. But this is not the actual array, I just print the reverse of it. That is 4, 3, 2, 1, uh, 5, 6. So I am just doing like this and like this, but you can do it any time. Like this also you can write first and uh, reverse also you can do. So this is just uh, my way of implementation. That's all. So for 5, 4 also, right? Uh, it is It will be the same. Only that one number will be there on the second loop. So how do we do? It is 5, 4 means four numbers I need to write it. So how do I do? Last 5, 4, 3, 2. And in the second time, I just append one. Then what happens? I just reverse it. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So one in difficulty increase, difficulty increase, difficulty increase, difficulty increase. Four times it got increased. 
so this is the solution link so that's it guys see you in the next video until then cheers bye